So uh, what I've tried to simulate here is a saturated uh, loose sand. So I just initially fill it with water, just uh, poured some sand over it so it doesn't get too compacted. And put a house on top of it. Uh, it th this house um, uh, has some sand inside it to, to get some weight to be more realistic. And what happens with the si when, a, when a seismic event hits is, uh, when an earthquake hits, it, it produces some shear waves, um, P waves and S waves. So that those shear waves, it travels uh, through the soil uh, in a cyclic fashion. So it loads and unloads the soil. So that's what I'm trying to, trying to simulate here. So I'm going to shake the table and, and, and try to create that load. So hopefully it works. So that, that's how. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, the, so, yeah. Act, actually, this the glass. It 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 held the it held the house from tipping all the way, all the way down. But but if it was a bigger uh, tank, that house would have totally totally sunk in. And if I had more soil, it, it would be it would, it would almost go inside. It would almost be submerged. So what happened is. Even though the sand was able to hold up the weight of the house, but when, when, the, when the seismic even hit it, uh, the, uh, the loading was so intense. Uh, and and you, you can imagine how I was, I was just shaking it uh, really slowly. And, but when, when, when there's a seismic event hits, it, it, it's really, it, it lasts for about, um, it lasts for about five to six seconds but still the damage is, is extremely huge because the frequency with which the load acts is, is really fast. So it, 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 it happens really quick and it completely becomes a, a liquid and that's what happens.